with the softest material that Western women regard as the last word in luxury. Srinagar, capital of Kashmir, and the last place you'd expect to find on a fashion map. Consider the improbability of this shantytown start of gossamer loveliness. Just try and equate this market with the Mayfair boutiques, where the richest and ritziest of women will buy the softest and most elegant knitwear that the world has found. Pathé Pictorial's magic carpet has never gone so far from the beaten track to follow a civilized refinement back to its natural hat. Half a continent, asparagus, and any vegetable delicacy you can name. Trouble is, it's so far from anywhere else. Sheer loneliness would empty this valley altogether, were it not for that western craving for cashmere wool. There's loneliness in the music of the place. It's hard to equate this pastoral life with the heart of this waterway. Who could conceive of life on the roof of the world without this outlet? Lake Wula and 80 miles of this mountain river are busy with little boats. They carry the cashmere wool and the copperware, the silver and the silks the carved wood that the place is famed for. No two boats are ever quite alike, and it's the same with the huddle of wooden houses in Srinagar, with their balconies and carvings. That precious wool has traveled by mule pack before this Jhelum River stage of its long journey to that strange, unbelievable place, Europe. It'll be long, long months before it reaches you. They're as vague here as to where it's going as we are as to where it's come from. <laughs> Nominally, they're Mohammedans, these river gypsies in their strange valley. 5,000 feet above the sea. But the prophet would scarcely recognize these faithful followers. Strange superstitions fill their lives. The abominable snowman lurks in the nearby mountains. Ghostly echoes from the Himalayas answer their shouts. Demons come dancing down the river with the floods. Fires break out in the foothills. Allah is easily displeased. And the old men can always summon up some bygone bogeyman to account for each new workaday accident or to while away time when the sun sets. <laughs> <laughs> 